So, we are in quarantine, and everything sucks. Absolutely everything. It's usually, I find, a mix of good and bad. Mostly good and mostly bad. But, um, this time it's, it's just everything. The world seems like it's ending. Especially for me. I, um, I've been having quite a tough time, honestly. And I spend most of my days laying on my bed, crying a lot, eating too much, not doing enough. I'm at the point now where cleaning my room, making my bed is an accomplishment. And I'm sure some of us have been there before. I've been wearing the same pajama pants and shirt for like the past four days, so <laughs> that's something. I've been having a real tough time though. It's because of this quarantine, because I don't have my friends around me anymore. And also a couple months ago, my, my dad passed away. He was an amazing dad and I couldn't ask for a better one. He was a beautiful, passionate, talented, clever, hilarious person. And he really made me what I am. And he taught me to chase artistic dreams. He taught me to not be afraid of who I am, to be what I am. When I came out as bisexual, he supported me all the way. I loved him a lot. And uh, he just never had the best health. So he was in the hospital for a while. And then he died. And... My uncle passed away last year, so it's been a hell of a lot. He was way too young. He was 56 years old, and people tried to tell me it was his time. It wasn't his time. I, that's It's just not true. He definitely had more life left in him. He, uh, It was just his body that didn't cooperate. I just really miss talking to him. He's the one that got me into movies in the first place, and now movies is my life. This whole thing feels like a car crash, kind of. I just, I don't know why, and I know that that's not really something that has an answer. Terrible things happen every day for no good reason. I just, I don't know why him, because he was, he was such a good person, and he didn't deserve that, you know? It's not all bad. I'm not completely miserable. Grief is a complicated thing, and it's not just black or white. I'm not just constantly depressed. Uh, it's been nice um, being closer to my mom, because uh, when I was in college, I feel like I didn't do a great job talking to her that much. But now we're here, and we're hanging out. We're watching stuff together and cooking. I've been having fun cooking. I made a pie, and I made, like, pizza eggs this morning, which you, like, cut up pizza that you got, and then you, like, scramble it with eggs in a pan. That was scrumptious. And also, we have fluff, so now I just, like, take scoops of that. <laughs> I've been trying to do things that make me happy, so I've been obviously watching a lot of movies but also, I've made a couple collages, and I've been painting, and I always love doing that, so those are good for me, and I think that helps a lot. This, uh, this, this thing really f threw me for a loop, as you can probably guess. I kind of, I feel removed from reality, so it's, it's nice when I can hang on to the good things that I love, uh, and remember that I'm still part of this world, because often I feel kind of removed from reality. I feel like I'm kind of drifting, and I'm not really myself anymore. I don't feel as funny as I I usually do, and I'm not motivated. I don't have the passion and the drive that I usually do. I just, uh, I just feel like I'm stumbling. I've been kind of holding on to this quote from, uh, a Andy Bernard, the character in, in the last episode of The Office, and he said, I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. 
I just keep thinking about walking into my dad's house, my dad in the kitchen cooking with one of his aprons on, and my uncle sitting there on the couch. And we would just sit down and eat and put on a movie. And it was so regular. It was always good, but it was so regular. I I just didn't realize how great it was before I left. I am trying to just try to appreciate that I did have him for 18 amazing years. And even though he's gone, it was truly great while it lasted. My favorite thing to do uh, as kind of interacting with my dad goes, sometimes I walk to the pond and I... I look up at the sky, and at his funeral, I, I said, um, I said, when someone passes away, I think they become part of the sun. And when you see the sun reaching through the clouds, that's the person you lost reaching out to you. So whenever I see that sunset, I, uh, I like to think it's my dad. Hey dad. I love you.